Hello again, this is the second part of my DIY PCB tutorial and right now what we're trying to do is uh, we're going to work with a copper clad board and we'll apply photoresistive film and photo mask in order to develop it. So first thing we need to do is uh, prepare the copper clad board, I already cut a piece to the size of our photo mask. What we need to do is use a piece of sandpaper and clean up the surface so we can remove all the dirt and provide better sticking for photoresist film. Okay, we'll do one side. And by the way, I'm using a really fine 2000 grit sandpaper. You can use something uh, a bit rougher but I will not suggest anything let's say lower than 1000 grit because you'll get some scratches on the surface okay and once it's nice and shiny we can remove the excess dirt with some acetone just do a couple drops Okay, now it's nice and clean. And we can get a piece of film cut to its size. So I've got this little leftover piece. We need an exacto knife or a scalpel, whatever you like. And just cut a piece of photoresist to the size of your board. Okay, next we need a piece of tape, just any kind of adhesive tape, like electrical tape, I'm using thermal tape because I'm running out of office supplies. And all you need is just a little piece like this big. And what you're going to do is you'll try and carefully remove the inner protective film on your photoresist, just like that, nice and easy. Okay, and just carefully stick it to the surface, but try to attach just one side and leave the other one hanging. Just like this. Okay, and we will move this aside so we'll get on the way. And you get your laminator, just turn it on, try to peel it out of the side of the PCB and start running it through just a couple times to get it stick. Just remember don't do it with uh, your laminator completely warmed up because photoresist is also temperature sensitive so it can harden while you're running it through the hot uh, plates of the laminator. Okay, just like this. Do it once. Twice. And we'll just do the third time the other way around. We'll flip the PCB.
Here we go. Nice and smooth. Okay. So, uh, at this point, all you need to do is just put this aside in a dark place so it won't get it exposed to sunlight. And let your laminator warm up completely. And don't forget to put your uh, photo mask somewhere nearby because we're going to use it in a few minutes. Okay, laminator is hot. We can get our PCB back out. And it's time to put a photo mask on it. So what most of the people do is they build a frame with two glass plates and they just press the photo mask with the PCB between those two glass plates. But what I found out is that you can use this same laminator and just stick your photo mask right on the PCB, right on top of photo resist, toner down. And it works just as good. Actually, it works better because this way you don't get all the UV blockage from uh, glass itself. So what you need to do is align your design with, uh, let's say, with edges of PCB where it's even and just start running it through the laminator. It'll melt the toner and make it stick really good to the surface. I think three times should be good enough. Okay, we're good. So, the next step is exposure. So, got my UV lamp right here and a little stack of boxes to keep the distance right and I'll put the PCB right underneath the UV lamp which is right about here okay I'm trying to I'm using just one 9 watt UV light bulb so I'm trying to keep the distance around six to eight inches to provide even exposure all across the surface of the board. So we'll just put it here and we'll try to expose it for around uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes. If you're using sunlight, you should probably keep it as low as uh, 60 to 80 seconds. Okay. Just like this. And we'll start the timer. Time's up. I can turn off the UV light and I think it's good. 
Okay, you see that photoresist has darkened just a little bit, but I think it should be okay. Alright, so next up is fun and excitement with chemicals.